the 30 day motivated seller challenge this is day six this is my second video i'm at the pool with my kids and uh, i got two offers one guy had posted it on facebook marketplace that he's moving today and his bicycle will not fit in the uh truck and he just wanted to get rid of it and it was a road bike a giant and I just told him, hey, I'll come give you a hundred bucks. I'll come pick it up. And he, and he said, hey, it's your lucky day. Come pick it up. So uh, right now it's around, I believe, like 830. And um, he said he'll be off of work from uh, for lunch from 130 to 2. And then after after that, he'll be off from 3 o'clock onward. Um, so I'm, I told him I'll be there at his house uh, at 130 to 2. So that gives me, you know, plenty of time, three hours to spend with my kids, take them to the park, uh, go swimming with them, and then go pick up that bike. Uh, and I also got another deal. So I got two deals just by chilling out and hanging with my kids. And the second deal is a pretty good deal too. For 200 bucks, I'm buying an electrical bike. Uh, I'll show it to you. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to use that because uh, I need a second bike, so I'm, I'm gonna get that for 200. I'll see what condition it is. The guy said the the tire's flat, and those bikes are pretty heavy, so I gotta figure a solution out, because I don't have a car, and it's gonna be kind of hard to tow it, because the back tire is flat. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna go check that out. I might pick it up, so I might get two deals. I know I have one in the hole, the second one's in the hole, but the transportation part. Now, if I had a car, I would just go pick it up, like, no, no deal, this, this is a home runner. Um, but since I don't have a car, I got to find a solution, but it's not a big deal. I'm a creative guy um, And I like to use gorilla marketing real gorilla tactics Gorilla ideas creative ideas guys, you know, just on the fly to make it work. So uh, that said I got two deals just sitting here uh, I'm gonna go pick them up. I have three deals already at the storage that I need to flip that I just bought I just put them up yesterday uh, hasn't even been 24 hours since I put them up because I had to go pick them up uh, and you know and do what I got to do to list them try to hang out with my kids and upload videos for you guys so I've been getting it's gonna be 24 hours and a few hours that I've listed those three bikes uh, I had one buyer that wanted to buy them on Sunday because today is Monday um, but I was doing those videos for you guys so I didn't have time to meet that buyer um, so uh, that's where it is so i'm going to focus on a little bit more on flipping bikes versus making videos but i'm not sure I, I do like documenting it because it's helpful you guys to see all the mistakes i make you guys because i'm not perfect i'm just like you guys you know what i mean um the only difference is that i have tremendous focus i've never had a job before i've always been an entrepreneur since high school so it gives me a lot of experience you know um just like a UFC fighter, you know, that's been in the octagon all your life. I've been on opinion all my life. So, um, but besides that, you know, I'm just like you. Uh, and I got hustled. I got fired. And I'm sure you guys do too. That's why you watch my channel, you know, and that's why we relate, right? So, if, if you have hustle, you know, you're hungry, you want to learn a new skill, you want to start a new business, you're tired of working for the man. You need extra cash, extra side hustle. Uh, you need some capital to flip houses. You need some capital to do X or Y and Z. Uh, or you just want to buy nice stuff for yourself at a deep discount versus paying the retail price. Then download the link below. The new flip, I show you the art of motivated sellers. You can take the skills that I show you there and literally use that same skills to find motivated sellers in real estate to buy their house subject to to buy their house at a deep discount whatever you could imagine right to do airbnb to do whatever you could imagine you can do it be a landlord your passive income and instead of using the traditional way and getting a loan or using the traditional way and finding a realtor i'm showing you exactly how to find these deals straight off the pressing press right um Gorilla tactics that no one does is totally for free. I'm flipping these bikes totally for free. I don't have a website. You know, I get these bikes, I put it on Facebook, offer a Craigslist, and they fly off because I sell them pretty low. You know, I'm making money off of them. Like the last bike I flipped, 
the trailer was it was like 525% ROI. I mean, honestly, don't, you know, I mean, don't try to flatter me. I know a lot of you guys, I'm not asking for that. But where can you go put your money and make 525 return in 24 hours or less? Please tell me that. Like, leave a comment below because I want to jump into that thing too, right? Uh, I don't know any place, right? At the same time, not are you if I'm making that kind of money on that return, driving to get that deal, I found a beautiful property, a real estate property, and the sign said for sale or for rent or for a lease, okay? And I've told you guys before, those are the best deals because the seller is highly motivated in real estate and they're saying, look, I want to sell my home, but I'm also ready to rent it out or lease it out. That just means that they, they're not in that property. They can't afford it or they don't want to make the payments anymore. And they just, just want to do something. Those are the perfect deals. And how did I find that deal? Was it on the MLS that I use a realtor? No, by me cycling for dollars, by me cycling to go flip this deal that I made 525% ROI, I found this deal, right? And you know, I've now put the seller in my marketing follow-up to buy their home, right? Just like flipping bikes, when you give an offer, they're not gonna say yes immediately. Some people do, but that's a small, small percentage. Majority of the deals are gonna come through the follow-up, right? So the follow-up is the key. The key is to give offers and then put them in follow-up. When I'm giving offers on the new flip, I don't expect the seller to say yes. All I'm trying to do is just give them offers and then give them my backup offer number two, which gives me 80% of all my deals, right? Because people always say no and they need time to think about it. And when the property doesn't sell, it doesn't matter if it's a bike, if it's a real estate, if it's a car. I mean, the more expensive the property, the harder it is for them going to be to sell it. And the more time that goes by, they're gonna realize, oh, oh, I'm not gonna be able to sell this. A bike is like 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 500 bucks. It's not a big deal. Now imagine a house, right? Not everyone's gonna have $300,000 to buy a house or half a million, a million, two million, something, right? Not everyone's gonna have the monthly payments, can afford the monthly payments, or can have a down payment, or can have the credit, or have all cash. So those type of properties is gonna be even more of a struggle for a seller to sell it and this is why you just have to give offers and then wait around for them to come back to you. And that in that waiting around, well, first you have to give the offers in writing. Second, you gotta have systems to be in touch with them so when they change their mind, what I call them getting baked, you know, you're right there to receive it. Most people don't give the offer in writing and most people don't have a system that does that for them, okay? This is why I highly recommend downloading the new flip, even if you're a professional real estate investor, because I show you the importance of creating systems, the importance of creating copy and paste systems, then not only can you do it, any Joe can do it, and better yet, some, some guy in India, Philippines can do it for you for a dollar an hour, right? Or less, 50 cents an hour, okay? So um, there's a lot of knowledge to be found in the new flip. You know, like I said, a 25 years of entrepreneurship, never had a job. So you're getting all that stuff. Plus, you're getting me to answer every and all your questions in my Facebook groups um, because I want you to win, dude. I, I want you to know that my stuff works. I want you to be your dream, and I want you to be your dreams without the stinky bankers. I don't like bankers, never like bankers. I feel, I feel like they enslave us. They cause us to go to war. And, you know, the way to eliminate that is not to borrow money from those stinky bankers. I love you. I love you guys. Proud of you. So um, the best thing to do in life is do what you love to do. And if it's to spend that with your kids or go cycle, or go camping or, you know, I've always listened to my heart, never had a job. And, you know, this is why I'm rich. Now, I'm not rich because, you know, I, I own material stuff or I own paper money. I used to, but I give all, most of my stuff away to the homeless because I realized that's not being rich. Being rich is falling your heart. I've always done that, guys. Even when, you know, you saw me in, in real life, you know. My, my ex left, took the kids, you know, I still pursued my dreams. I was willing to sleep, in, sleep on the streets, do whatever I was required to do. Never got a job. I mean, I still did the videos for you guys. It's like never going to quit, dude. And that's the mindset you're going to have. And that is the mindset of wealth, right, guys? Because true wealth is dreaming a dream and producing that dream. You know, no matter if it's windy, no matter if it's a thunderstorm, no, no matter if there's a tsunami, 
a monami or whatever, dog, whatever it is, you still push. And if you have that ability, and I think if you're watching me, you probably do, or, or deep down you have it, or you're doing it, that's rich, dude. That is true wealth. True wealth is not a digital number on your computer screen. No, man. That is that is the the control. That is the metrics way of controlling you. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't owe anyone any money. I don't have a stinky banker that's all over my, 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 my butt. And, you know, and I've always followed my dreams. And I had multiple businesses. And I was fortunate enough to, you know, make it and realize that, hey, accumulation and just massive consumption of, of success and stuff is you know life life is the most important thing time is the most important thing spending time with what you love to do if that's the family friends or doing what you really love to do if it's cycle if it's to draw if it's to write a book or be an entrepreneur whatever it is you know for me whatever i want to do I, in, in junior high i used to tell my friend bro i, I call him mr chris right now and i used to tell him man I'm gonna have three businesses and one day you're gonna work for me and, and, and I'm gonna be a multimillionaire and people used to laugh at me, right? In, in sixth grade, seventh grade, I knew what I was gonna do. And guess what? All right out of college, I started multiple businesses, many of them failed, but one of them caught on and it made me a multimillionaire and a few years later, I was hiring Chris to work for me at my three businesses because at that time, when he came aboard, I had three businesses plus rental properties. So exactly what I predicted came true. And so, you know, but then I realized that, you know, material things are just thanks to Sadhguru, you know, meditation. These are just fake stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, but the real power is being able to listen to your heart, have the courage to listen to your heart, have the courage to stand up, even if everyone laughs at you, have the courage not to give a fuck, right? And be your dreams and be kind and, and help people. You know, I'm, I'm rich because even if I don't have anything, I help people, right? I help the poor poor homeless guy the poor kid or someone that fell or making videos for you guys even if i had everything i still help people so i'm rich because my heart is right you know what i mean and i hope yours is too and i'm showing to you that no matter what the struggle is you know, you can be super rich if you only have one bread you can chop a little piece and give it to someone is the story you know and this is the story that i'm bringing because i'm trying to help you mass material riches but really the faster you become rich, then you have more time to explore and really know what the meaning of life is. Because for most of us, just like me, I was brought up and trained to keep keep running in that rat race, keep accumulating, keep trying to be the king at the hill. Let, let me push you down so I can get up. You know, that, that theory of philosophy that's in the Western world where just get the money, man, you know, miss your kids football game miss your kids this don't go through this you know i've done that you know i, I remember watching my uncle's kids man they were like this big and they grew up and they were in high school and i hardly got to spend time with them because i was running three businesses i had multiple rental properties four businesses i guess if you can call it uh if you consider the rentals as a business uh and so on dude you know and i missed so many good things in life i didn't go to the fair i didn't do so many things i was trying to conquer the world and be number one and i mean I, i'm happy for that because i can say i, I did that and, and it wasn't for me and, and i'm super happy that i got enlightened and said you know what just accumulation and being top of the hill is not the thing that i am you and you are me and the realization of that and even a hand one one, one biggest shift in, in my life i can tell you is like when i'm cycling i see a little hand i move out of the way so i don't run it over you know well you know, before that realization, before that awakening, I didn't have that, you know what I mean? I didn't even care if there was an ant on there or I wasn't even aware of it. Where today, if I'm cycling, there's a lizard, there's a whatever. I, I, I Sometimes I even fell off my bike because I tried to not hurt that animal, right? And this is the shift that's happened to me. I'm not saying that I'm the noble, I'm this, this, you know I mean? This is what's that happened to me, right? And I'm just sharing it with you. That you don't have to go through the same journey. I, I want you to do your dreams. If that's to accumulate millions and millions of dollars, good for you. I want to help you. I, I've been on that hill, and, you know. And, and in my journey, I have helped so many people, like so many different business owners, from restaurant owners to doctors to chiropractors, personal trainers, auto 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 dealers. Uh, I mean, you name it, guys. You know, and. Um, and they also help me, inspire me, because when they have success, it makes me feel good that I know that I have my 
black belt in entrepreneurship, in business, in real estate, in creativity, in imagination. Um, and I just want to help you be your dreams because that's, that's, I feel like that's the purpose of life, right? Pouring into your cup, right? Um, and because there's no reason for my cup to get overfilled and over and over. It's better to empty my cup and then work my butt off because in the work process is where the fun is. In the work process is where the love is, not at the peak. We all think that the peak is where it's at. And for my realization, I don't know, I'm not talking for you. For me, it's not the peak anymore. It's, it's the grind, it's the struggle, it's living on the streets. It was, it was one of the best experiences for me. I lived like, man, I, I was like truly living, brother. You know what I mean? Truly awake. So anyways, guys, uh, girls here, kids here, you're gonna spend a little time and kind of video went a little bit long. But I just wanna tell you, I love you, man. And, and don't be lazy, man. You live in the best country ever. Be your dreams. I know it's scary. But I, I believe you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I don't need to say that because I think you're a lot smarter than me. You can read higher, have better education, you have better connections. But uh, anyways, guys, always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and twice as beautiful as you ever imagined, Romy. Peace, man.